All right, we're here with Rachel Klammer from the Netherlands, and first of all, happy birthday. Uh, did you do anything to celebrate? Uh, not really, but th first of all, thank you. Uh, now, my dad and my sister arrived today, which is quite nice. And of course, we ate cake, uh, some nice dinner later, maybe some ice cream, so it will be good. And it's much better here than at home, so. Yeah. You know Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. The Home Alone kid. Yeah. He just posted a picture that he has a mask uh, and it's just the mouth open and his hands like this, <laughs> like on the mask. <laughs> <laughs> Here is Richard Murray from South Africa. Um, real quick, first impressions of Arzichena, uh, the island, and then the race course. Um, can you give us a, a little mini recap um, about this year in general? Um, just things that have happened and then the races that you went to and um, leading up till now. So starting this year, I was in South Africa uh, training. Then uh, we went to Namibia for a bit. Uh, then I came home uh, to visit my family. Um, unfortunately, at the start of the year, I heard my mom was very sick. And um, so, I mean, COVID, yeah, it's like really like unlucky and horrible for everyone, but I was actually quite thankful to be, so I could be at home. Um, then we just trained for a couple of months and just with the normal ups and downs, sometimes being super motivated, sometimes not being too motivated. Um, then, after a couple of months at home, um, my mom passed away, which, which was very difficult, and I absolutely miss her, especially now when part of the family is here and she's not. Um, soon after that, we started the first couple of races, uh, with the Super League race first, and then with, um, well, let me think, Hamburg, and then Carly Bavari, and now we're here. Um, so not too many races and uh, even the race Sandberg was actually okay for me. Carlo Vivari wasn't. I was mentally and physically not ready for it. I uh, thought about like calling it the end of the season but uh, we're here, it's nice here and hopefully to have another race, hopefully a better one too. Yeah, so first impressions. Uh, this is my second time to Sardinia. Uh, I remember coming here and DNFing oof about 12 or 13 years ago. It was quite a long time ago. <laughs> Funny memories of the environment, uh, of the people, and uh, yeah, of the turquoise water and stuff. It's an amazing place to be. It reminds me of Cozumel a little bit. Uh, so yeah, really stoked to be back here. And um, yeah, we weren't even planning on coming here until we heard there was a World Cup here. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty uh, looking, looking forward to, to competing this weekend. And what are your thoughts on uh, your first impressions of Arzachena and uh, racing in a new location? Um, the town, the course, all, all those things. It's really nice to be here and it reminds me of a lot of different places somehow. Sometimes it reminds me of uh, Mallorca, sometimes of Cosmo, sometimes of South Africa. And um, it's much more quiet than I thought, but obviously like summer holidays and COVID, um, it's not too busy here. Uh, it's definitely <laughs> more quiet here than uh, at home. Um, so it's super nice here so far. The water is so nice and clear. So we've only been swimming open water. Uh, we don't even know if there's a pool close by. Probably not. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's beautiful here. I uh, really love it. Uh, how, what are your feelings about racing in a new location that you haven't really spent time in? So the last time you were here was 13 years ago, so you don't really know the layout. Um, like, what is that like uh, coming to a race for, quote, the first time? Yeah, well, I think it's exciting to come to a race venue that we don't know. I think there's a lot of things that you can look into and get excited about. And uh, especially riding like the bike course, I thought, oh, there's a couple hills. It's not that bad. And then we rode two days ago, we rode the hill and I thought, wow, no, that's that's pretty steep. Uh, and yeah, it almost reminded me of the World Cup in Huatulco uh, in Mexico, which is also really, really steep uh, and some like hectic downhills. And I think that makes it quite exciting. And uh, especially the three lap bike course is also quite a nice addition usually we don't do like round loop courses uh, so that definitely adds an extra dynamic to it and yeah i think that's that's quite cool the the loop on the bike and the loop on the run is is, is quite nice and what are your plans after this race so after this race we'll stay here for another week um we'll be it's holiday time we're not sure yet where we're gonna stay we'll figure that out sometimes after the race all right well best of luck this weekend thank you for the time rachel and uh, happy birthday thank you it's funny because I, my next question was, can you tell us about the hill on the bike? Because I had watched your video on social media a little while ago, and um, I just kind of wanted your animation, your Richard Murray, like what your thoughts were from riding up at the first time when you didn't know what to expect, and you were just like, oh, geez, like what were some of the, the thoughts that you had when you hit the different pitches? Uh, yeah, so I think when we at the start of the climb, uh, it was just the first piece, and I said, oh, no, this is where we do the run up here as well. So I thought, wow, the run's also got a hill in it. That was the first 
impression. Um, and then as we were going up, Rachel kind of said, oh, I'm sure I can go up in the big ring as we went around the first corner. And then all of a sudden we see that like, it's just like disappearing up a hill. And we thought, okay, no, I don't think that's a big chain ring climb. Um, and yeah, it got steeper and steeper. And I almost thought, do I need a compact uh, group set or chain rings on my bike for this course? Uh, and today I went and did it a little bit of faster speed and then my gearing was actually fine at a faster speed so that was cool uh, but yeah I was definitely thinking wow this is a wild uh, hilly bike course and uh, yeah definitely one that I think the athletes are gonna uh, either enjoy or hate uh, <laughs> probably a bit of both uh, and what is your a scenario race plan how do you envision your best a race winning the race how, how do you envision that happening um, yeah so I think probably coming out with the, the least amount of deficit to the front guys out the water uh, would be the best scenario for me uh, anywhere from like 30 probably 25 30 seconds maximum out the water behind um, no one's going to save any energy on the climb uh, I think the only place you can save energy is probably on the flat section just before transition uh, but that's a time we kind of got to keep the hammer down to make sure you don't lose time uh, and yeah pretty much ride as, as hard as you can to try and uh, limit the deficit coming off the bike I mean with Alistair yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely somebody who doesn't uh, turn around and look for somebody to come take a pull. He just puts the hammer down and uh, that definitely changes the race a little bit in, some, in, in quite a few regards. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to be chasing uh, like animals and uh, hopefully on the run we can <laughs> rain back a few places. And what does the end of your season look like? Um, end of the season looks amazing, uh, to tell the truth. <laughs> I think I was thinking about a month ago or a couple, a couple of weeks ago already, we were thinking, maybe we'll call it a season and just skip this race. Uh, and I mean, the, the season's been pretty tough. So uh, after the last two races, we were completely spent uh, the week after that, uh, traveling back from uh, Karavari. And uh, we took kind of the week off almost. Uh, and I actually picked up a bit of a stomach problem as well that week, which wasn't great. So I was wondering, should we even come here to race? Uh, and so luckily that kind of went by the way, you know, kind of started to dissipate and, and I started to feel a bit better. Uh, and yeah, then uh, we decided, okay, well, we're definitely coming here. We better book flights <laughs> and ACOM and uh, we're here and yeah, we're ready to, to give it our best. And yeah, off season con coming on uh, Sunday uh, morning, looking forward to actually Saturday afternoon after the race, uh, not before. And uh, yeah, looking forward to that. I mean, to take take a break, a couple of weeks off, uh, and then look at the next season and what we'll do for next year. All right, fantastic, Richard. Thanks for the time and good luck this weekend. Cool. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Thank you. All right. Cool. Yeah.